Tafala from Lyon, France, French featherweight champion, 11 and 0. He's here in Las Vegas to bring his undefeated record to Las Vegas and to America. And who did he just spar with? He just sparred with uh, Mbiko, Joseph Mbiko. Yeah, Joseph Agbeko. Yeah. How did he do against Agbeko? How, how do you feel he did? Well, he we see, a, we watched it. He changed his style. He had to go into a softball stance, which is not his normal stance. Then from a softball stance, he did very well. Yeah. He got a little fatigued with his legs, being you know out of out of position. But other than that, I thought he did well. Yeah. How long is he going to be out here training? Well, he, he's going to be here for. Uh, Like I said, I seen him spar right now with um, Beko, and he looked really good. Uh, what kind of style would you say he, he kind of has? He has a, a pressure style. He's a, he's a pressure fighter. He usually comes at you all the time with a lot of punches and bunches. But like I said, what you saw with that is, is not his style. It's a softball style. Um, uh, Friday, he should be sparring Mickey Bay. Okay. So then, that's a good test. And that'll be the first time you, you sparring with Mickey Bay? No, he's with him before. Oh, he's with him before? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, a lot of fighters, um, well, you got fighters like Rigo moving up pretty quick on the fast track. Uh, Loman Checo, who, uh, you know, he turned pro with a 10-rounder. How fast, you're his manager, how fast do you want to move him up? Well, we're going to be smart about this. We don't think it's going to be as fast as Loman Checo. Yeah. We're thinking two years. You know, in two years, he's only 23 years old. Give the guy a chance to grow. A lot of things he's still going to work on. As good as he is now, he's only going to get better. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and when is his next fight again scheduled? His fight is, is December 6th here in Las Vegas at Samstown Hotel and Casino. He's on the undercar. Okay. You guys know anything about your opponent? We don't need to know anything about our opponent. We're just going to do what we have to do. Knockout? Nah, not necessarily. Seriously. We just want to box and learn. Absolutely. You know, sometimes too many fast knockouts, then you go to the bigger uh, uh, scene and you, you, not, you don't have a box. Yeah. You don't box. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Now we all know, like I said, um, if you go if you go in a traditional way, it takes a while to get acclimated to get used to your opponents. You transition from amateur to pro, then maybe you fight like some journeyman, then undefeated prospects. When do you see him, you know, stepping up maybe to fight like a undefeated prospect on the same level as him? Well, I, I, again, everything is, 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 is a slow process. So we're looking may, maybe a year and a half, and then in the two years, we should actually, hopefully, if everything goes right, we should be looking at championship fights. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, well, thanks. Like I said, Dante's Boxing Nation over here with Octe Takala. And you want you have anything you want to say to the fans? English. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Watch me though. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.